Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tahir Naim and we are studying Introduction to Computer. So far we have got 12 lectures and today is our 13th lecture. In today's lecture we will discuss the basic concept of computer. This is the outline of our uh, today lecture. First of all, we will discuss human versus computer characteristics and we will compare them. Then we will discuss the history of computer briefly. Then we will discuss generations of computer. Then we will discuss classification of computers and classify computers. Then we will discuss types of computer with respect to working principle. That how working principle means that how the it fun how the computer functions. And then we will discuss analog computers. Then we will discuss digital computers. Then we will discuss hybrid computers. Human versus computer. So here we will discuss the uh, we will discuss the characteristics of human and com uh, com and computer and compare them. So here is the first characteristics of human. Human perform numeric computation is we are we are able if an, uh, numbers are given to us we are able to add numbers, uh, subtract numbers, multiply numbers, uh, and uh, uh, perform different numerical uh, computations while the computer can also perform numeric computation but the ma major difference between human and computer is that computer perform numeric computation at very uh, uh, very fast speed than human uh, if we give numbers uh, numbers let's suppose i uh, let's suppose uh, we have to add uh, we have to add 100 numbers or 1000 numbers then computer will do it if we enter the data then it will do it instantly while the human if the same task is given to human he will he will take a lot of time a lot of time the second characteristics of human is creative creative means the human humans have uh, humans uh, humans can create a uh, different uh, uh, different ideas a uh, human can uh, bring up different ideas or break through in the, in the uh, breakthrough in the uh, technology or any other fields are in uh, like uh, decorations or in, in interior designer or different creative industry human is able to outperform the computer while computer is able computer perform of computer is best is fitted fitted means that uh, we write a programs in a specific language and then run our uh, run it a computer and it will perform the uh, tasks specified in the computer uh, in the specified in the program so basically human a computer is a uh, uh, computer is very useful in the and uh, in, in this type of uh, task which is a uh, feeded or which can be programmed while human is a uh, very good at creative crea creation so here the third characteristic of human is remembers a right information so basically uh, whenever we want to uh, let's suppose if you are preparing you are taking a lecture uh, uh, course uh, then you want to remember uh, or you uh, take down notes uh, and try to remember things uh, and you remember it for a certain amount of time uh, while you write in uh, you whenever you write this information then you have to study this uh, again uh, after some time to memorize it uh, while uh, uh, computer is able to store huge amount of information for long term as compared to human so basically uh, computer outperform uh, 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 human in this department because uh, it can store huge amount of data and uh, uh, it can retrieve data whenever needed uh, so it outperform in this characteristics the fourth uh, characteristics of uh, human is that uh, whenever a repeated activities is performed the human gets tired and bored because uh, uh, because of repetition uh, repetition 
like here i am giving you example of if there is an assembly line uh, and uh, uh, you have hired worker and he he has to perform the same task like bottling or any sorting of uh, uh, different things uh, then he gets uh, uh, lazy and he cannot uh, do the things uh, uh, repetitively because he will um, he will uh, lose interest uh, while computer is best in performing repetitive activities uh, like uh, that uh, here you may have uh, you may have seen that uh, in uh, in industrial industrial scale uh, the repetitive operations are often performed by ro uh, computer robots because uh, it is it doesn't get tired uh, and uh, perform the repeated uh, rep uh, operations repetitively so the fifth uh, 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 characteristic of human is uh, that a human have common sense uh, and he can make the uh, decision based on uh, based on this common sense uh, while computer does not have any sense uh, it do what it is uh, told to do while human can deviate from the uh, uh, deviate from the uh, taught lesson and he can best uh, uh, he can best use uh, according he can best use according to the situation of uh, according to the situation situation so basically the uh, human have common sense while the computer doesn't have common sense on best and pattern matching and uh, pattern matching in computers uh, uh, so basically computer is able to pattern match uh, the uh, pattern match uh, while the uh, computer is slow in pattern matching and cognition uh, cognition means the intelligence uh, so basically uh, you have uh, known that whenever you want to uh, if you have password problem or in computer there is a uh, um, there is captcha or the other uh, uh, sign, uh, so the matching patterns uh, is given so that uh, uh, difference between computers and a uh, human is uh, visible because it uh, the uh, uh, web website secure website through different pattern matching so that uh, uh, human if it is human he will do it quickly while if it is computer he will not able to perform it uh, and the cognition human uh, uh, human have intelligence while computer doesn't have intelligence because of uh, uh, computer performs what is it is told and he doesn't he doesn't take uh, uh, he doesn't use in intelligence while uh, the uh, human is able to uh, have intelligence on history of computer so here we will briefly discuss the history of computer uh, as you know that uh, computer is not developed uh, as a whole like we see it today it was different it, it, computer was used for different application from ancient times uh, and uh, the computer which we now see is evolved over time so here we will briefly discuss the history of computer to know that uh, how computer evolved over time so here the first computer was uh, was uh, uh, introduced uh, by ancient Chinese uh, in the era of 2400 BC and uh, and, the, uh, the, uh, and uh, still this device available uh, is available abacus uh, abacus is basically I have shared the picture of abacus uh, so abacus is uh, uh, the, a string strings of beard st like structure and it is used for calculations uh, while after abacus there is another person named john napier and who developed who developed napier bones on in 161617 and this uh, this napier bones uh, consist of mechanical uh, system and it's it have rod made of bones on so basically these are long competition basically the uh, abacus was able to uh, do the simple uh, calculation big, uh, quickly while abacus has added features that it can produce it can have a long competition in short amount of time it, it was faster than the abacus and it was more accurate than abacus uh, so after uh, after John Napier bones uh, another device was introduced uh, known as Pascaline and it was developed by a scientist named 
Blaise Pascal uh, and it is named after him uh, N6142 and the structure of this uh, device was it was mechanical and uh, it has it also contained wheels and gears uh, and it is used for the same functionality uh, like uh, addition subtraction and carry fe features while the above mentioned uh, doesn't lacking the carry features so uh, uh, Pascal improved upon the above devices uh, so in the uh, so the other uh, uh, girlfriend Levin's uh, uh, introducer Steve Rockner uh, in 1692 1694 uh, the structure of this device has, uh, it consists of digital machine based on binary numbers uh, so this was the first machine uh, which uh, which uh, uses the binary number and it is was also able to along with addition subtraction able to multiply and divide the numbers uh, so are in the uh, in the 1830 another scientist named Charles Babbage introduced analytical engine so this is uh, we can consider it is it uh, the first uh, truly uh, computer uh, uh, it was programmable computer so the it contains can consist it have different features like uh, it has input sections uh, which uh, uh, input sections and we uh, we can uh, uh, put uh, data through the punch cards uh, and it can give us output uh, in the form of print unit uh, while the processing was done by control unit uh, which can uh, through which a computer was operated uh, and there was another uh, mill unit which which performed the calculation and there was also storage available in number storage uh, so this was uh, it was truly a remarkable computer uh, and he was he's, he is considered as a father of modern computer so uh, his devices contains all the necessary ingredients of modern computer like input uh, input uh, processing or uh, storage and computation so here is the here is the uh, bakers which i was dis which we were discussing and uh, that uh, it consists of be uh, beads uh, 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 so here this was the uh, baker so while after it uh, napier bones these are the napier bones uh, this is the napier bone which was developed by the napier uh, while pascaline pascaline is this is the inner uh, outer view of pascaline while this is the uh, so this is the outer view of pascaline while this is the inner inner view of pascaline this is rockner uh, uh, rockner uh, So here is the analytical engine. Analytical engine uh, was dual, uh, is we have uh, discussed previously that it was a uh, 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 it was proposed and developed by uh, Charles Babbage, and it takes input through punch card. Uh, as you can see, this is the punch card. Uh, this punch card has uh, uh, a lines. Uh, it consists of lines, uh, and we have to punch this card. Uh, uh, so that we we were able to insert the data in, inside uh, this uh, analytical engine uh, and uh, this consists of uh, uh, rows and uh, rows and columns uh, and we have to uh, punch a specific part to indicate uh, data while this is the punch card writer where we can punch uh, punch the machine while this is the punch card reader in which which reads the punch card and uh, sends the data to analytical engine and this is the jack word punch and another scientist jack word introduced uh, the this uh, punching uh, punch card in the looming because uh, uh, as you know that the textile industry was a, a very um, uh, um, sophisticated industry in that time it was labor intensive and uh, uh, and jack word jack word introduced uh, uh, punch cards in looming business so that uh, we are able to have different patterns uh, uh, patterns of textile so here after these uh, william borrows 
introduced uh, in 1886 uh, adding machine uh, and it was mechanical in structure and it was also available for commercial use uh, in 1890 dr, dr. herman helroth uh, introduced uh, electromechanical punch card tabulator and the structure of this uh, electromechanical punch card tabulator it is uh, so it was electromechanical and uh, 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 it, uh, the card was programmed on another uh, scientist uh, Bush in 1930 uh, 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 introduced differential analyzer and it was just like it was in a lab computer in 1944 H Ekman introduced mark 1 mark 1 was uh, basically uh, uh, um, electromechanical relay instead of gears uh, because the previous uh, devices used gears and he introduced uh, the uh, 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 relays instead of gears uh, and uh, it was the first it was digital computer while uh, uh, J W uh, Markley and J P Eckerto in 1946 use uh, uh, you introduce NEC uh, and this was a uh, electronic uh, it was electronic uh, it was run on uh, uh, electricity and it contains vacuum tubes uh, and this uh, this style uh, this computer has uh, uh, a tokens and it occupies large uh, large room uh, and it was uh, it consumes a large amount of energy and the, it was specially designed for military use because in these uh, because uh, in this era world war uh, world wars were being played on uh, and it was digital computer it was uh, it uh, produces a tremendous amount of heat uh, uh, and because of its structure and large amount of electricity was consumed by this uh, this uh, device uh, like 150 kilowatt which was able which was enough for a small town uh, uh, and it weighs a, a lot of weight like in approximately and weighted 30 tons uh, and area it occupied a large amount of area a large amount of area uh, approximately 160 square uh, square meter and uh, six people and it required a huge uh, number of personnel and uh, generally six people were uh, dedicated for programming uh, for any account these are the uh, uh, different devices uh, different technologies used uh, as you can see this vacuum tube uh, is used for processing while half header was also used uh, and relay switch was used uh, and here you can see that after uh, vacuum tube half header was introduced and half after half header relay switch was introduced and after relay switch transistors was into our introduce in the electronic devices uh, which which revolutionized the whole idea and after transistors there is another uh, uh, technology of integrated circuit also known as ICUs was uh, introduced we, uh, where uh, we were able to compact the size uh, uh, the of the devices and also reliability is increased on uh. So here is you can see that this is borrow adding machine and this is Herman punch card tabulator and this is differential analyzer and this is the mark one uh, and this is a NIC computer as you can see from the uh, pictures. So after in 1951 Sperry Rand, uh, uh, Rand introduced Univac. Uh, which stands for universal automatic computer one and it was elastic it used uh, instead of uh, uh, punch card it used elastic magnetic tape uh, and it was available for commercial use uh. in 1953 mit university uh, mit into uh, and the university of mit uh, scientists introduced world wide and one uh, and uh, it was electrical device uh, it was uh, transistors was used instead of vacuum tubes because vacuum tubes uh, occupied a lot of space and it consumed a lot of energy and what was uh, it was uh, 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 not easy to maintain uh, in 1965 digital equipment uh, corporation or dc uh, introduced pdp file uh, pdp while it was the mini computer and it you instead of transistor its user electrical integrated circuits uh, which was able to sh uh, uh, short its size uh, 
in 1975 mits saw introduce altair 8000 it was also a microcomputer so here is you can see that this is univac and it also have a lot of it also occupied a lot of space it is world went one and it was the first mini computer is you can see the difference between size of these the, uh, this is the first mini computer introduced uh, and this is Altair 88000 uh. so uh, n n we will discuss the generations of computer so basically as we have previously uh, 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 previously discussed uh, the different uh, uh, era of computer so basically generation of computer means that uh, computer we classify we classify uh, the computer uh, based on the technology improvement uh, generation and computer science terminology is step in a technology or the technology uh, a huge technological development like uh, nowadays uh, uh, there is uh, we uh, uh, there are different technology whenever technology improvement is a very sharp uh, and whenever technology is improved on another device takes place uh, of the uh, uh, take place of the older technology similarly it provides a framework work for the growth of computer industry basically a new f framework uh, uh, in the change of generation uh, uh, um, is a change of framework uh, it is used to distinguish between various hardware and software technologies basically the uh, uh, with the change of generation the hardware technologies improves and a software technologies improve and uh, that's the distinguishing feature of generation of computer till today we uh, generally uh, generally divide the generation of computer into five generations so here i uh, i have uh, uh, sum up in a tabular power form uh, the generations of computer so here we will discuss first generation of computer which we include from 1942 to 1955 and um, the different hardware technology in this generation was uh, that a vacuum tube was used for processing and electromagnetic relay memory was used uh, and punch card was used for input uh, and the software technology was uh, uh, machine language uh, or assembly language was used uh, for the programming of uh, uh, the computer uh, and program programs were written in assembly language uh, and and it uh, because assembly language programming in assembly language is very difficult uh, and it contains stored program we have to write program and store it uh, uh, store program concept was used uh, and it was purely used for scientific application it was not uh, meant for layman or uh, ordinary people uh, and the uh, different characteristics of that era was that uh, it was bulky in size, it was expensive, it was unreliable and limited commercial up, uh, production uh, and use was uh, 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 use on, used on. And the typical ex um, uh, typical computer of this era was ENIAC, EDIVAC, EDISAC, UNIVAC 1 and IBM 701. Uh, now we move on to second generations of computer second of generation of computer is uh, uh, as included from 1955 to up to 1965 here extra uh, transistors is used instead of vacuum tubes uh, and magnetic core memory is used for storage uh, as compared to punch card while magnetic tapes, uh, tapes and disks were used for memory and the software different software available at this era was page operating system we have to uh, load the operating system and the high level languages at this time was introduced uh, and some scientific and commercial uh, application was developed for the computer specially and uh, it was faster as compared to the f uh, uh, first version it was smaller than the uh, previous version a uh, previous generation it was easier program it was difficult uh, difficult commercial production but still commercial production was uh, difficult and it was lot of expensive to uh, to produce and uh, procure uh, uh, the computer and the uh, typical example of that era was Honeywell 400 IBM 7030 CDC 1604 Univac Larco and now we move on to third generations 
third generation include 1965 to 1974 and this transistor was replaced with integrated circuit with the SSI and MSI large capacity of data storage of magnetic tape, uh, disk and magnetic tapes and the size was reduced because of ICs and different improvement in technology it was considered as mini computer here operating system were further enhanced in two time sharing operating system and multi-programming feature was also introduced in, in the computer through which we were able to have uh, run multiple programs uh, simultaneously it was smaller as compared to the other uh, previous generation it was faster than the previous generation it was easy easier and cheaper to produce uh, and it was easier to upgrade than previous generation the typical example is IBM 360, 370, PD8, PDP11, CDC660C and 4th generation of computer. 4th generation of computer include from 1975 to 1980. Hardware technology of that era was ICs with VLSI with large scale integration and larger capacity hard disk. Uh, uh, compared to previous three generation magnetic tapes and floppy disk was introduced personal computer it was mostly used for personal computation mainframe computers supercomputer and computer networks were introduced uh, at that era and here uh, the OS was revolutionized because of introduction of GUI or graphical user interface for PCs and multiprocessing was introduced uh, Unix with C uh, was uh, introduced uh, language was introduced uh, and their object oriented language was developed uh, and networking basics and uh, basic biases and applications were developed uh, it was small affordable reliable easy to use and general purpose we can use it for multiple purpose and it was easier to in, uh, in upgrade uh, the typical office example is IBM PC, Apple II, TRS-80, VX-90000. The fifth generation of computer uh, uh, from 1980 to present. Here the integrated circuit with ultra large scale integration uh, was introduced. Here the memory, uh, main memory is larger, hard disk with the RAID technology is introduced. So, Optical disk or uh, C, uh, CDs introduced. Uh, notebooks was also introduced. Uh, the laptops was introduced. The uh, uh, size, the weight of uh, uh, computers further uh, reduced it to laptops. And powerful server computers were introduced for dedicated purpose of uh, uh, resource sharing. And advanced supercomputers was introduced. And internet was introduced later on. Uh, here the uh, uh, software size and uh, multi-threading was introduced in fifth generation here the distributed operating system was introduced multimedia application was also introduced and internet applications were introduced uh, the characteristics of this uh, generation it is portable powerful cheaper reliable it was general purpose commercially feasible and ever uh, anyone every anyone can buy it uh, it was easy to upgrade and rapid software development was introduced uh, the typical example include ibm notebooks sun system dell and hp laptops android tablets and mobiles and tablets uh, So here uh, we will discuss the classifications of computer. Basically, classification as we have mentioned in the previous lecture, the that classification is basically grouping or uh, grouping or uh, dividing the computer on the basis of some characteristics. Uh, uh, the characteristics characteristic here you can see that uh, uh, there are three basic criteria of uh, 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 our characteristics of computer division one is by working principle working principle means that how the computer functions the other is size of computer and other uh, the third one is the purpose of computer so basically uh, first we will discuss how a computer functions and similar function computers are cobbled together types of computer with respect to working principle are functions the classification is based on the way physical 
quantities are represented in computer so basically the how the computer represents the physical quantities is uh, the basis of division of computer there are three basic types of computer with respect to their working principle in the log computer digital computer and hybrid computers so in the log computers in the log computers are those computer which process in the log data in the log data means that data is continuously given a log data is of continuous nature having infinite variety of values usually obtained from the sum measuring process so basically there is a, a variety in the values the same value is not given again and again basically it we uh, such type of data includes temperature pressure speed weight voltage and depth etc like uh, as you can uh, know the temperature vary in the same room very uh, differently uh, minorly so basically we take the best uh, available average of the temperature in this type of data pressure is you can see that pressure is not uh, 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 same everywhere in the same uh, uh, thing while speed is also uh, very and weight also and voltage or depth uh, in the log computer measure continuous changes in some physical quantity so uh, 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 physical quantities the changes in physical quantities is measured by in the log computer they are ideal in situation where uh, data can be accepted directly from managing instrument without having to convert into number or code basically in a log code in a log uh, computer basically takes the data directly without the conversion or code they do not require any storage capabilities because they measure and compare quantities in a single operation so basically the storage is not required because of measurement of the data and com com uh, and the co comparison is uh, performed in single operation they are faster in digital computer output of in the log computer is generally in the form of reading on a series of dial or graph or strip chart here is you can see that this is speed speedometer here that uh, it's uh, um, calculated in the log computer here uh, uh, here is you can see that this is a uh, uh, the you have seen this divider device uh, in the uh, um, uh, hospital beds uh, these are the typical examples of in the log computers here we will discuss different applications of a uh, uh, analog computer we can measure our speedometer is typical example of our term in temperature thermometer we get thermometer to measure the temperature of a person weight weight machine is also used for to measure the uh, weight of the person in specializing engineer it was it is used in specializing engineer and scientific application for calculation and measurement of analog computer to control process the processes found in oil refinery where flow and temperature measurement are important in paper making and chemical industry the analog computer is used on now we move on to digital computers digital computers operate on digital data such as number so basically the difference between the analog and digital is digital as the name suggests that digits it separates on digits while in a log com computer uh, takes uh, the uh, takes uh, uh, it operates on discrete data while the in a log computer operates on uh, continuous data the uh, digital computer use bi a binary number system which are only the two digits like 0 1 0 and 1 they can also they also known as bits uh, they may uh, the in a digital computer is more accurate and precise uh, 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 in giving results than the in a log computer they provide long term storage and they are uh, storage is also available which provides long term storage and can store huge amount of information they are well suited for solving complex problems in engineering business and technology 
here the are uh, the examples some of the examples are applications of a digital computer the desktop computer present on our lab is a uh, 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 is the typical example of digital computer the laptops which we use today is also typical example of a, uh, a digital computer while notebook also is the typical example tablets and smartphones are the typical example of digital computer hybrid computer hybrid computer utilize the best qualities of both analog and digital computer so basically hybrid hybrid computer ha have uh, both the qualities of hybrid in analog and sorry analog and digital computer they have the speed of analog and accuracy of digital computer they, they incorporate the measuring feature of analog and counting features of digital computer so basically it uh, it uh, uh, combine the best qualities of both in the large uh, digital computer they are suited suited for situation where where digital processing data control in the large form is desirable these computers are designed to perform specific for specific task where measurement are converted into digits so here is you can see that this is the typical example of a hybrid computers These are the references from where I have prepared my lecture. Thank you. If you have any questions regarding today's lecture, feel free to contact me. I will be more than happy to reply to your question. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.